Hot on the range. Not hot on the range. Whitetail Hunter STR and the Botech Assassin. So let's roll. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to I got it, we got it set up over there. Um, we're going to put turn the camera on to the chronograph so we can, you can see the speeds coming up, and and we'll uh, tell you about what we're going what's you know what we think is going on, whether it's what we want it, what we thought it was, or what it is. And uh, I'm going to let Brian talk for a minute. He's going to tell you about the Botech Assassin because you should already know about my, my boat. Well, the Botech Assassin, they don't make it anymore. Botech doesn't make it anymore. The Carbon Knight actually took the place of the Botech Assassin. Um, I got this back, uh, I don't know, maybe around 20, I think 2014 or 2015, somewhere around that. And um, at the time, this, was the, this bow was the best buck for your money, you know. Um, it's fully dressed. Had it had the uh, the quiver on there. It had sights. I changed the sights out. I've got the uh, the apex. Um, uh, golly, I can't think of what it is. The apex covert. Um, so it's a single pin. I kind of switched over to a single pin. Um, I'm gonna end up changing out my uh, arrow rest right here. The, the felt on this thing tends to wear out after, I mean, every season i got to change the felt out on this thing. But overall, this is an extremely accurate bow. Uh, the draw length on here, my draw length specifically, because they set this to my draw length, is 27 inches. So i got a 27-inch arrow as well. It's kind of short. Look, I'm a little bit longer down here, a little bit shorter up here, and I'm a little bit wide right here, okay? So uh, they set this to my draw length. Uh, this bow... The, the draw weight on this bow can set up to 70 pounds. And when we tested it when I bought it, it was actually set at 74. Um, so it's a little bit higher draw weight on mine specifically. But overall average is this bow is supposed to be a 70 pound draw weight. Axle to axle is about 31 inches. It's more like 30.6 inches, something like that. So we'll just round up to 31 inches. Um, but this is a very accurate bow. I've not had to recite this thing. Uh, I know a lot of that has to do with the shooter itself, you know, but I can tell you this thing's deadly accurate. So uh, I've always been curious, though. I've got it set to 60 pounds on here. I don't have this thing fully maxed out. Um, and so at 60 pounds, I'm curious to see where this thing is actually shooting. How close is it? Because uh, this bow is supposed to be at, at full draw weight, supposed to shoot IBO speed of 333 feet per second. Um, at 60 feet per second, I want to see how fast it's shooting, though, and how close to that 333 it really is. I am shooting a uh, Carbon Express Maxima Red 250. It's a 250 grain air, uh, air, uh, 250 grain bolt. I'm shooting a 100 grain uh, field point and a 100 grain uh, practice tip. My broadheads are the NAP Blood Runners. I don't think they make those anymore either. Look, I'm obsolete on this thing, man. But when you have a good product, why get rid of it? So, uh, I'm shooting the two blade blood runner. Let's see if I can pull one out. I get that up a little bit closer to you guys. Now I picked the two blade because this thing, let's see if I can press it down. Hold on, let me let me, let me lay my bow down. 
before I cut myself. This blade is a two and a quarter inch cutting diameter, two blade. Okay, I've not really switched over to anything else because um, I've been happy with these blades so far, but at the same time, I've not killed a deer with a bow yet. So my goal this year, this hunting season, is to kill my first bow deer. Um, but that being said, now that you know a little bit about my bow and what I'm shooting, we're gonna get to the video we're going to see how fast these things are actually shooting. And you know how accurate Ken's is. We're going to see how accurate this one really is. All right, so let's get to the video. There it is right there. That's what it was. You were shooting, it was shooting too low? Yeah. You were shooting too low, yeah. There you go. That's closer. That thing's clipping along. I was like, there's no way. No way. <laughs> 338. That's what it is. What is it? It's shooting too far over to this side, so it's not recording, it's not registering. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'll just have to shoot towards the other side of the target for this next one. Interesting. That one, that one, if you'd have shot the same tips. First and the second square on the top. Two eighty two. So one second faster with the uh, with the broadhead. I mean, I guess that's, that makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. My broadheads will shoot faster than my field points. So, but it's oh, more outer dynamic, I guess. Yeah, huh. but I mean, overall, they're still doing. They're they're all shooting pretty pretty equal. Well, I want you to do, when you get your arrows, I want you, I'm going to take one of these 125s off here. I want you to shoot with 125 and see. I'm... All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. So this one, last test, we're going to shoot. He's shooting it with a one of the 125 grain field points. See if, see how much uh, difference 25 more grains makes. Oh, dropped it down 10, 10 seconds. Ten, 10 feet per second. Yeah, 10 feet per second. All, All right. right. So. We'll... All right. 
right guys so you can see now we uh, did the chrono so so far the whitetail hunter is shooting at 10 feet per second less than it says but I'm also shooting 125 grain and that's what I wanted to see when I had Brian shoot at his so mm -hmm. he consistently shot at 285 286 right around there with the hunter when he put the 125 on there 10 10 feet per second off now my question was how much does that make a difference is feet per second really all it's cracked up to be so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna look at the uh, uh, that tool that I have put on there the uh, kinetic energy tool from Realtree and we're gonna run through that and show you all the uh, the actual kinetic energy between 125 at 2, 340 and 110 or 100 at 350 see how much difference it makes Yeah, and and, and uh, my guess on that bow with me with me shooting a 60 pound draw weight, my guess was that I'd be shooting around 285. Um, this is the first time I've ever chronoed my my bow, so I had no idea how much it was uh, actually shooting. But I'm very ha I'm still very happy with it. It's still fast and accurate. Um, definitely do the job, get the job done, and everything. So I mean, I'm not disappointed in anything. But I. It, it did make a difference whenever you put the add, add the extra twenty five uh, grains twenty five yeah. grains to it yeah so so uh, you know I, I think we we determined a lot of stuff in this video today um, one with the chrono you have to shoot a certain a certain area in order to get a true reading right um, you also we also found out that with this one in particular. Uh, if there is an overcast, it seems like it doesn't pick up as good. Uh, that could be with any chrono. I'm not, I don't know. This is my first time ever using one. I think it's his first time ever using one. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's my first time on this particular one. I've used one for uh, a different one that uh, mounts on the front of a gun, and that sucker was super accurate. But this is the first one I've used. First time I used the Cald Caldwell one, and I did see something. Somebody was talking about that on one of the reviews about it being overcast and not getting good reading because the, the, the light's got to shine through those two lenses down to give it a reference point. Yeah. But that is what it is. But we, we did end up uh, getting a lot of answers with this thing. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to go and like. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we put up, uh, every time we put up a video. And uh, share the videos. Leave a comment below. We are curious to see what, what y'all's uh, estimates were and those comments. So we hope that you guys left them down there. Um, yep. Yeah, because we want to want to see what your guess was. See if it was, uh, if you had the same suspicions that I did. Because, you know, I think I talked about this, that it was going to make some difference. But how much was it going to make? But at any rate, we want to thank y'all for joining us. And if you have any questions, always po post them in the comments. We're happy to answer them. And uh, also... Don't forget, if you're if you're subscribing, we got a, another giveaway coming up at yep. the 500. We are two away. That's right. So, so anytime this week, <laughs> if we get two more this week, like I think we will, we're going to post up a video for a giveaway. So you guys keep an eye out for that. Uh, we're going to show yep. you what we're going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away some good stuff right before season starts too. So yep, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> so uh, so you know you guys keep an eye out for that video and uh, go tell all your friends about us because we we can't have this video without you guys. Yep, that's we right. thank you for all of your support. Uh, without you guys, we wouldn't have this channel. Uh, we appreciate all that you do and all that you uh, do to support us. That's right. We love you guys and remember this, this is God's, God's country. country. See y'all.